it's Sarah with Thrift You, standing here alone in my kitchen, being forced by my daughter to do this by myself. It's a what sold video. Sam's not here, I'm here by myself. I'm in the kitchen alone, staring at my coffee pot and an empty box of peanut butter crunch because I'm out. So I wasn't sure what to show you guys. Um, because I've only done this since November. So I thought I'd just go back like a month. And um, and to be perfectly honest, I didn't... Uh, it's pretty much everything I've sold in the past month. Um, because I sell kind of weird things. So, you know, there isn't like standard stuff that I sell. It's just, uh, it's all over the place. You'll see. So, let's get started. Because it's weird to stand here by myself and talk. Uh, first off, it's this weird, uh, I don't know if you guys remember these, these dolls from the 60s and 70s. Apparently they're made by Arnold Cutter. I had no idea until I looked it up. Anyway, this little dolly, um, she was in really good condition. She sold for, um, oh, she was listed for 22 I sold her for $20.50, $20 I think. So, that was pretty good. I picked her up at Salvation Army for next to nothing, probably a buck. This is a bridal basket, silver plated, and it is fancy pants, this thing. Oh my God, did I love this. It was, I don't know if you can, that's a really horrible picture, but the details on this thing were just absolutely phenomenal. Oh my God, I loved this. So anyway, that sold for um, 27 silver plate, quadruple plate. Lottie daw um yeah that's pretty good so it was heavy too so it was heavy to ship uh these chucks these chuck taylors these converse um, super cool i picked these up these up at goodwill mm, a while back this last winter i think before the Super Bowl, and then the Chiefs won the Super Bowl, and I thought, oh my God, how perfect, somebody's gonna want these. Well, they never sold, I couldn't believe it. Anyway, sold them to um, some guy in Mexico for 50 bucks. So that's good, they sold for full price. Uh, <laughs> this thing, this sold for full price, this sold for 48. I had absolutely no idea what to sell this for. Uh, it, it was big, it's big. I mean, it's like, oh, I don't know. I, it, I mean, it was pretty big. It's much bigger than it looks. I had to, in fact, I had to take it outside on my deck. So you can see the snow on the ground in the background. But I had to take it outside on my deck because um, I just could not get a decent picture of it. I mean, it's super cool. It's Royal Satsuma. It's, it's like this geisha. It's got moriage all over it. It's really neat. It's a cool, cool thing. But when I got it home, I'm like, oh, dear God, I bet this thing's worth about $10. Well, I don't know. I listed it. I listed it for $48, and it sold for $48. So that was good. I was happy about that. But it was big, and it was um, weird to ship. This, Mary Englebright Teapot, 2004 Teapot. Mary Englebright sells, you guys. I don't, you know what? I don't care who you are. Mary Englebright sells. If you see it, pick it up. It, um, especially the stuff with the cherries on it. Anyway, it's not all that old. 2004, it sold for 50 bucks. This is a George, is it, it's George, right? Briard, um, ice bucket, tortoise shell. Really nice, new with tags. I think I got this, um, not all that long ago. I think I picked it up, uh, we were down in St. Louis right before the shutdown of everything we went down to see my aunt and i made my sister um and samantha to go to every thrift store ever known to mankind because you know when you're in a different city you know that you're not normally in you gotta hit all the thrift stores so anyway i think i picked that up there new it tags it was listed for 35 i sold it for 25. they probably got a pretty good deal on that that's pretty uh that's pretty good ice bucket it's very mid-century modern <laughs> this thing oh dear god <laughs> so this it sold for four it sold for 35. this is one of those i don't know if you guys remember see there it was made by um oh i can't read the name now but 
it was made in 1965. You remember these handmade with the little embellishments and the, see the ribbon and the pearls and the, oh dear God. I saw this, I think I got it at Goodwill. I, I got it at one of the thrift stores for absolutely nothing. I A buck or two probably. And this sold to uh, Japan for $35. So, plus about $8 million in shipping. So, and they just got it not very long ago. And believe it or not, they absolutely loved it. So, I mean, it was the egg styrofoam. I mean, this thing was fantastic. It really was. Oh, these guys. These are my penguin friends. These I got in an auction lot. There's an auction that we go to locally. And they have it once a week. And it's... It used to be that they used to, they used to do clean-outs. But... I think now it's more consigned stuff. Um, so it's not as nice of an auction as it used to be. But um, these guys were... I picked up a flat full of um, figurines and, you know, salt and peppers and stuff. These guys are salt and peppers. But they're super hard to find. They're, I And really, actually, they were in really good condition other than the um, red on the penguin the red bow tie on the penguin. Other than that, they were in really good shape and they're tall. Um, anyway, they went for 30 bucks, which is not bad considering I paid pennies for them because there were probably, oh, I don't know, 50 or so things in that box and I paid probably two or three bucks for them. <laughs> this, by the way, you guys, my pictures, when I look through these, my God, I cannot believe anything of mine even sells. My pictures are so bad. And I would just like to add um, that I have done my fair amount of photography. I mean, I've shot weddings, seen your pictures. Um, you know, I'm not new to the photography game here. So I'm not entirely sure why my pictures so, are so bad on eBay. But they are. They're horrible. I apologize to anybody who's buying anything from me. You know, the nice thing, though, is uh, when you get something, you're going to be delightfully surprised because it'll look way better than the picture did. So anyway, this is um, Portuguese, Portugal, pottery, Al Alcobaca, I guess is the brand on that. Um, I picked up another, this thing was pretty big. It was like a almost like a casserole dish size. It was kind of, I don't know. Anyway, they make this sort of funky naked cherub pottery things. I, I had another thing like a trinket dish that I sold for actually pretty decent money. Same company. And I actually bought it at the same place. It was a, it's a flea market on the east side of Des Moines. But anyway, um, it sold for, I don't know, $23. Is what that bad dad sold for. This is a Fitz and Floyd. I called it a Dalmatian. I don't know if it's like a Staffordshire dog type dog. Um, you know, modeled after that English Staffordshire stuff. Anyway, I called him a Dalmatian. Somebody bought him. So anyway, he. Um, th th I do believe this was a set of uh, perhaps bookends, but I had one. Had one of them. And it sold quite delightfully for the price you see, full price. And and I love Fitz and Floyd stuff, by the way. It sells very, very well for me. This, yet another terrific picture of mine. Now, I don't know how to say her name. She, boy, this is a popular um, artist, though, if you find stuff with her name on it. Is it Susan Wingay? Is the T silent? Is it Winget? Wing it, wing it. Somebody, please let me know. Um, I don't know how to say her name. Anyway, it sells well. Um, I had that. I have had this a long time, and this just sold in the last month because I'm showing you that. I mean, I've had this since probably November, <clears throat> but it sold for. I had it listed for thirty-two. It sold for twenty-two. So I was happy to get rid of it. These little moon moon glow, opalescent, opalescent, opal up. Opalescent, 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 yeah. Um, you know, luster type bowls. These were not in great condition. Made by Federal Glass. Not terrific condition. 
a lot of wear to these. But somebody wanted them, so that was swell. Um, they sold for 25 I was pretty happy about that, honestly, because I didn't think they'd sell. Oh, my God, talk about bad pictures. I am almost embarrassed to show this. Um, this Navajo bowl, um, pretty cool, pretty neat. The, I love Native American pottery. It's one of my favorite things. Um, it sold, I listed it for 50 It sold for 25 which is pretty fair because it had some wear on it. But um, these are hard to, um, if you guys have ever handled Native American pottery, it's, it's almost like Mexican pottery. It's, it's kind of unfinished, but like, I mean, the inside of it is glazed, I believe. I'm almost, oh, that's the signature. Yeah, the inside is glazed. But the outside is that, you know, that sort of unfinished feeling, that unfinished pottery feeling. So it's it's almost like trying to clean terracotta. It's it's really, really hard to clean up and make it look nice. So, um, boy, if you find Native American pottery in good condition and it's signed, and if you can identify that signature, holy pants, it, it'll bring you some money. That one sold for 25 Oh, these guys oh okay this has been more than a month ago but it hasn't been all that long all that much longer than a month but I wanted to show you because I picked these up at the auction there's this one and this one they're made by Columbia they're those rubber face plush things toys these were in fantastic condition. I mean, they didn't look like they'd really ever been messed with by kids or anything. They were in great condition. And um, I had, I think, this one was listed for 80. Look at that. Have you ever? Look at that thing. And this one was listed for 70. And a guy, I believe, I, th I think it was Japan again. I think in Japan, I'm almost, it was, I know it was. I shipped them to Japan. I sold both of them to him for a hundred bucks. So I picked up those two little stuffed animals, these two little plush things at an auction, the regular auction we go to in a box lot for no more than $5. I'm sure less than that because I try to wait till the boxes get down to $2. So anyway, good profit on those. And in fairness, they were in really good condition, but you know, those rubber face, if you find those rubber face stuffed animal things, check before you pass them up because they will bring you some big dollars. There's a company, um, it's not this one, it's not Columbia. Oh, shoot, I can't think of the name of it right now. But there's one company that um, makes some um, vintage ones and they're, oh my God, they bring hundreds of dollars. Namaji Vase, the one that we all discovered, is not actually Native American. It's Native American style, but it is made up in uh, Minnesota. It was listed for 30. What did I say? I sold that bad boy for 20. Happy to do it. That was a cool vase, though. Okay, this keen print. <laughs> so I'm sure if you guys are of a certain age, you remember these really icky, big eye paintings, prints of these children. Sometimes they're children. Sometimes they're animals that they have the huge eyes i think the first name of the artist is mary keen is it mary keen i know it's a female it's mary uh, or martha mary anyway keen is the artist on this anyway i picked these up uh, there's two of them and look at that that's just terrible um they're not very big 10 inches there's cheap plastic frames i picked them up at i don't know either goodwill or um you know, one of the thrift stores for absolutely nothing. They probably had a buck or two on each of them. The other one I have is a clown and a little girl. It has a lot of interest, but it hasn't sold yet. Um, but anyway, <laughs> these apparently are enormously collectible. So, um, and this is just in a cheap plastic frame with, here, I'll show you that. There's the... Um, the signature it's not a real signature obviously this is a print but um, it uh, these are very very collectible so if you see them pick them up and sell them in your eBay store please and thank you this was listed for 40 I sold it for 25 and honestly I I couldn't even believe I got that for it just based on the condition of it but 
again, people love these. Um, just a little um, little figurine. This is one of the very first things I picked up when I was out thrifting and decided I'd sell things so I could pick up more things to thrift and sell. Um, little Japan figurine, nothing to it. Sold it for 10 I think I even dropped the price on this from 12 It had been higher than that, but I dropped it. And now, interestingly, I think what may have helped the sale of this, um, now that I look at this listing, there isn't anybody on this planet that cares about Lipper and Man, the pottery house that made this in Japan. Nobody cares about that. Probably what they do care about is that their, their Burman kitties, or maybe Burmese kitties, um... So that probably should have been at the first part of my listing, not Lipper and Man. No one cares about that. So just be mindful of how you uh, list your things. Think about what people are searching for. Like if you were going to search for a kitty figurine, what are the things you're looking for? Maybe the kind of cat it is, Sarah. Next. Oh, these. Blow molds. Empire blow molds. Found these at... I don't know, one of the thrift stores. Uh, very cheap. I think they were they were cheap. They were like two, maybe a quarter a piece, 25 cents a piece. And um, I do believe they're, the one in the bat, there's one that was in really bad condition. That one was. But I mean, they're not in the greatest of condition. I mean, let's be honest. These are things that live outside. So, and these are, um, you put them over path lights. Um, you know, they're not that old, 1995. I mean, they're kind of old, but I sold those bad boys 12, did I have 12 of them? Yeah, 12 of them for 30 bucks. Oh, these eggs. Interestingly, I think, you know what? I think these were, somebody made these, I think. They're just ceramic eggs and somebody had decoupaged on them really nicely I mean they were well done somebody had decoupaged on these eggs and I sold them for 18 bucks this was interesting this is this it looks bigger than it is it's only eight inches but it's this hand carved see it's this hand carved picture oh it was very very interesting I probably sold it for way less than I should have. I sold it for 35. It's probably worth way, way more than that. There was a, a mark on it, but I, no matter what I did, it was too faded. I couldn't read it. It was very clearly handmade. It was, it's neat. And I'll tell you, the guy that bought it from me, um, disclosed to me that he was a reseller and I was happy to give, I mean, you know, maybe he'll get a fortune for it. I don't know. I hope he does because I paid virtually nothing for it. Oh, this little gem. Uh, Red Wing pitcher, Art Deco, obviously, based on the lines. Rum Rill. Rum Rill. I think that's like the pattern on it. Rum Rill. It's a cool blue. Um, again, that's probably a little closer to what the color is, not that color. This is pretty cool. Um, I didn't find any, any other pictures with this color. Some Rum Rill, but not with this color. So, not with this kind of corn flower blue. Oh, I only sold this for 35. Mm, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Well, that's okay. Now, I will say this is the one exception in the world of Fitz and Floyd that I probably should not have picked these up. These little charming tails, teeny tiny tails, little doodads. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I was, um, I couldn't believe they were Fitz and Floyd. But they are. There's a whole series of them. I mean, they're cute. They're darling little things. They're, um, they just don't go for much. So um, I sold those. And I probably stupidly paid three bucks a piece for those. And I only sold them for 18 bucks. I sold them for what you see on there. So, I mean, yes, is it a profit, but probably, yeah, probably not a big enough profit. I mean, it, in that case, and it isn't that I don't love the things to, that don't bring big profit, if I could spit out the words. 
actually most oftentimes those are the things I love the most but um, it isn't worth the effort I have to go through to list it so therefore I will um, oftentimes keep just keep it and give it away um, you know as a gift or something <laughs>